Hey what's up guys and welcome in this new tutorial where I'm gonna show you some of the best techniques for sampling for tech house tracks. So before starting this tutorial I would like to remind you that we're gonna only use the samples from our new pack Isolate Volume 3 which is a minimal tech house collection inspired by the sounds of Solid Grooves, Michael Bibi, Posa and many more and you can check it out from the link in the description below. So these techniques are totally free and you can download this Max for Live plugin that we have right here from the link in the description below. So the plugin is called the Roser and it's an advanced step sequencer, which means that this is basically a media effect that works together with an instrument or a sample. So let's do a quick example with the operator. So we load the operator here, then we go into notes, we select on random and it will automatically create a pattern for us. However, for this tutorial, we are not gonna use instruments, but samples or loops. In this case, we're gonna go into the isolate volume three and we're gonna pick a bass loop. So let's use this one and let's select slice. In this way, for each note, we're gonna have a different marker that is gonna be used here in the sequencer. So let's use the same pattern as before with this bass loop. If this sounds too fast for you, you can simply mute some notes by clicking here on the green boxes. Another thing that you can do inside of this sequencer is also edit the velocity. Once again, we can click on random to randomize the pattern. And you can also change the octave. So here you have the octave range, which starts at two and can go all the way up to eight. And you have the bottom octave, which can be from zero to eight. And you can randomize it simply here by clicking on the random button. Like this. So once that you have a loop that you like, there are a couple of different options that uh, you can use to uh, basically save this loop. The first one, which is the easiest one, is to simply record the track and you can go and create a new audio track. Select the input from the channel one, which is where we have the sequencer together with the loop and then you just record it. And that's basically it. But you can also record the, the MIDI, which is another important feature. For example, if you want to use a different sound for this loop, you will always have the MIDI. And in this case, we are simply gonna do the same thing that we did before. So we create a new MIDI track. We select the input from the channel one and we simply record. And uh, yeah, basically these are the same notes that you can see here in our sequencer. So you will also have the MIDI available if for example here you want to load a different instrument. So yeah, for uh, the baseline sampling, this is like pretty much all that you are gonna need for this case. However, you can use this uh, uh, sequencer for a lot of other uh, options. For example, let's go with the uh, percussion loop. Let's see this one. Okay, let's load this one into the simpler. And uh, as you can see, we have the same pattern as before. Okay, so here I think that it might be a bit more useful to also introduce these uh, five 
parameters that we have here and the way that these parameters work is that you can basically map any knob that you can see here inside of the simpler to the parameter so basically we can go on the parameter one and we can randomize it then we can go here click map and for example we can map the frequency and as you can see here inside of the sequencer we have the parameter listed and you can select between all of these parameters and you also have the device and the track and here you, you can see how the sequencer is operating here actually is not really readable but you have some uh, other settings that you can use to change the way the parameter is working Okay, and basically that's all for the drums one last thing that can be useful is for example with an acapella and you can use this one basically to uh, do some vocal chops so let's load maybe in this case like a full acapella okay so we have this uh, acapella we're gonna enable the slice mode once again and we're gonna start with a blank sequencer like this and let's see how it sounds like this and we can also edit the velocity here so one uh, cool trick that you can use for the vocal is to enable the warp and you can change the mode and uh, reduce the envelope in this way the uh, different part will sound uh, with a little bit less sustain and it will create uh, like a nicer effect <laughs> And you can use this one for example for some background vocals or for some vocals during the drop. Yeah, basically that's all that you need to know about this uh, really cool max for life plugin that once again you can download for free from the link in the description below. Also make sure to check out Isolate Volume 3 from the link in the description as well. Let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye!